I had never heard of the Abbey. Well, it's a very different sort of order. Very unique. But why did you leave? Uh, I understand it was voluntary. When Alexander was ele elected, she's the new abbess. If I'd stayed there, I might have been expelled or excommunicated. But I didn't know that the abbess had the power of excommunication. Well, as I said, it's a very strange sort of order with a very weird history. I see. I understand you're, you're undergoing psychoanalysis. Yes. Hmm. For anxiety. At any rate, she saw me as a threat. A threat? To what? To whom? She has this insatiable lust for power. Mm. She and her supporters did very illegal, very mean things to ensure her victory. Very evil indeed. For which I forgive them. Well, that's good Christian charity, Felicity. And there's not the slightest doubt in my mind, Mr. Douglas, that there are eavesdropping devices. You mean bugs? Yes, planted throughout the convent. And they've been put there by this new abbess of Philadelphia. And I demand that the CIA or the FBI look into it. Switch that off. FBI, CIA, what next? She has no proof. Someone has leaked that to well, the Well, who would leak it? Her leaky Jesuit, the idiot Thomas, I suppose, still tumbling Felicity. But somebody had to leak it to Thomas, and that could only be one of the three of us or Winifred. I suggest it was Winifred, that clutch. She's been talking. Why? Why would she do that? Why, indeed. Oh, I have plans for the lame brain, Winifred. She was certainly instructed that our electronics was part of our lab equipment for the training of our nuns to meet the challenge of modern times. Now, dear Hildegard, may she rest in peace, was out of her mind to admit Winifred as a postulant, much less admit her to the veil. Be that as it may, Winifred is in it up to the neck, and the scandal stops at Winifred. Amen. Amen. The point, Winifred, is that you took a very grave risk Passing the money to a young Jesuit seminarian dressed as a woman in the ladies' room at Wanamaker's. He could have been arrested as a transvestite. Next time, think of something smarter. Now, I hate to piss away the sisters' dowries like this, but the Jesuits are getting tough on us. I want you to take this to the pawn shop and make some arrangements with Father Boudreen and Father Maximilian about what to do with the money, but no more ladies' powder rooms and Wanamaker's. 